older. So it's been a long time since I made a video, so I figured I would do the show. Um, <clears throat> so it's just another late night. Um, doing science and stuff. I'm eating gummies. Going to try to make chlorine gas with hydrochloric acid and calcium hypochlorite. That's what that looks like. It's a um, pool chemical for chlorinating pools in the solid form. Usually you just use muriatic acid, which is that, or something else. But uh, that's a white chalky material. And I'm expecting upon mixing them, I'll get chlorine gas, and I'm going to try to capture the gas using something like this. It was a decomposing hydrogen peroxide to get oxygen gas in this case. That's actually what's bubbling out. Um, and I've collected a lot of it in these bottles. But I'm going to try to get chlorine now. It should be easier to tell that I've got it because it's actually a nice yellow color. Uh, it's heavier than air though, so I don't know how it's going to work out. It should be interesting. So, out of this reaction, I should get uh, chlorine gas and water and calcium chloride salt, um, which I'll probably recover because that's a really good dehydrating agent to make stuff dry. Um, but I re I'm really more interested in chlorine gas and maybe even liquefying it if I can get it cold enough. It'd be really cool to look at. It'd be like green or yellow liquid. Um, but I'm wearing this because calcium hypochlorite smells pretty terrible, um, and also just for general safety reasons. Also, I'm going to be wearing gloves, so uh, don't try this at home. Just watch and have fun. So just a couple quick little caveats, it's two days later now and the garage still smells like chlorine even though I have an air filtration system, so that's kind of uh, stinky, but um, it's doing better now. Uh, the reason I made 3.2 grams of chlorine gas is because the density is 3.2 grams per liter um, at zero Celsius and room pressure, ambient pressure, so I wanted it to fit nicely in a one liter bottle without exploding. Uh, so that's why I use those proportions. They're perfect for one liter. Anyway, uh, what I think I'm going to do is something I've never seen so far done before, which is uh, to react chlorine gas with gold metal. I know it can be done, um, but I've never seen it. So uh, I'm going to try to make aluminum or a gold trichloride and uh, use that to electroplate gold onto like a nickel surface. Um, I've been trying to get a way to plate gold for a long time without cyanide compounds. Like every single gold plating compound you can find has cyanide in it. And it's not really a big deal um, if you just buy the compound and you're careful with it, but if you try to make it, um, you shouldn't try to make it because it's really dangerous. So um, that's what's next. It should be really fun. Uh, subscribe and like if you would like to see more because that would encourage me to keep doing this. And uh, I'll see you when I try to make gold chloride.